Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little ball question the k weakest rows in a matrix. So you are given m by n binary matrix mat of ones representing soldiers and uh, zeros representing uh, civilians. The soldiers are positioned in front of the civilians, that is, all the ones will appear to the left of the all zeros in each row. A row i is weaker than a row j if one of the following is true. So the number of soldiers in row i is less than the number of soldiers in row j. And both rows has the uh, same number of soldiers and uh, i less than j. Return the indices of the k weakest rows in the matrix ordered from weakest to strongest. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So k equals 3, so we should return 3 indices, like a 2, 0, 3. So Index 2 is a row, uh, weakest uh, row, and the second weakest is index 0, and the third weakest is index 3. So I think the uh, simplest way to solve this question is that count soldier number in each row, and uh, take the data from uh, like a weakest. So in that case, uh, do you come up with a suitable data structure? So my answer is heap. So basically, we put so number of soldier in heap, but uh, um, there is a case where so multiple row has same soldier number. So in that case, um, um, description said um, rows i is weaker than rows j uh, if both rows has the same number of soldiers and uh, i is less than j. So that means smaller index is weaker than like a bigger index number. So that's why uh, when we put the data into heap, so of course we put the uh, uh, number of soldiers in this. So if we put the row zero, so soldier number is two. So two, and also uh, we put the index number like this. So let me put everything. So row one is a uh, four soldier and index one and uh, row two is a uh, one soldier and the index two and then in the uh, two soldier and the index three and uh, five soldiers and the index four so all we have to do is just uh, take uh, pop the data from heap um, until k times. So in that case, our uh, weakest is this data, so index 2. And the uh, second weakest is, so we have uh, two soldiers uh, in multiple rows, but uh, zero index is weaker than uh, three index 3, right? So that's why um, this is a uh, second weakest. And then this is a third weakest. So all we have to do is uh, like uh, take a uh, index two, index zero, and the three. So exact same output, right? Yeah. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay. So let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize the list. So let's say min heap, and uh, for i and uh, oops, row in Range, uh, not range, uh, enumerate and uh, mat. And uh, first of all, initialize soldiers count equals zero. So every time we start from zero and then count soldiers in each row. So J in range and the length of row. So if row j equal 1, in that case, add plus 1 to uh, soldiers count plus equal 1. If not the case, immediately break because the description said all the 1 will appear to the left of all the 0. So that's why we can immediately uh, break. After that, um, heap q dot heap push and uh, min heap 
min heap and uh, as I explained earlier, soldier so soldiers and number so that's count and i and then after that let's say a uh, weakest row rows uh, equal and uh, we need to index number so heap so first of all for underscore in range k time so we need to k index number and uh, heap q dot heap pop and uh, from min heap so uh, this soldier count is index 0 and the index number is index 1 so that's why um, we put one here. Yeah, actually that's it. After that, just return a uh, weakest rows. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n multiply m plus k multiply log n. So m multiply m comes from, so we generate through uh, all rows and uh, in each row, the all values are one, so we iterate through everything. So that's why in the worst case, order of n multiply m, right? And then we use a, a heap push and a heap pop. So um, in the heap, uh, at the most, um, n element, right? So that's why uh, time complexity is uh, order of log n. And uh, we execute k time. So that's why uh, k multiply log n. So that's why uh, overall complexity should be uh, order of n multiply m plus k multiply log k uh, log n, and the space complexity is order of max um, a n over k. So that's because um, min heap contains at most n elements. So n is a number of rows, right? And uh, but uh, so weakest row has so k data, right? So that's why uh, total space complexity should be order of n plus k. So which simplify to like an order of max n or k. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.